Oh, hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. What's up, guys? Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, hi, chat. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi. Great, TM. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to totally, like, take over now. Please. Because Asticon is, is a wonderful human being who ran a show after our show yeah yesterday. god bless astacon <laughs> like i was so, so dead yesterday mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna oh, eat into my mic and i'm gonna be the mc a little bit today hey everybody sure. let, me, let me say hello thanks for stopping by in case it wasn't obvious or clear what we're doing today is a round table and the idea is we all want to talk about the show that we uh, participated in on Saturday, and we know mm -hmm. some of you guys might have some questions too. So it's total open forum. If you guys have any questions from, hey, who did this music? To um, why didn't LSP do this thing differently, that <laughs> idiot? <laughs> and anything in between, uh, all fair game. Which by the way, Thunder Porpoise, Google Thunder Porpoise. Got good stuff. Oh yeah. Made, he is... made his music available Not, not only is TPM, supremely talented at making music he is a wonderful wonderful human so uh go and, and a, go a and member of the out. twitch community indeed if you if you were in um Hellowitz colo's streams mm. you might stumble across he, he them. is a he is a masterful purveyor of shenanigans mm -hmm. a good potato nuke jack zach's big wave hey dd what's going on everybody yeah 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 um oh man let me, let me let me decide where to start reading chat. <laughs> Look at these four amazing beans, and they're all awake too, barely new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I kind of I just woke up. <laughs> I I woke up at eleven. Um, I kind of had a rough night last night, so oh. I like woke up at seven, and then mm. I, because I was sleeping in this room, and then I moved back into my bedroom, and I came back in here. Uh, for, for this, so it's been a Aww. fun morning. Uh -huh. There's a Ren and a Mary and a taco trash can. Yeah, Ren! Oh, hi, Ren! Ren. Talk has to do, like, her actual job today. <laughs> <La -mau. laughs> what? Jobs? Imagine not mm -hmm. getting President's Day off, the most significant and important of all the holidays. Oh, it's so important, as we all know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a president. I have a prime minister. Stop Thank bragging, you very much. Kyle. Stop very, bragging. Don't, don't, yeah, don't you technically have a, the same queen as us? Technically. Technically, kinda. Oh, technically. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. At least we have like a like us, but. acceptable president. Okay. Yeah. We're not getting into politics on this <laughs> channel oh, or right. any other channel. Uh, <laughs> just gonna wow. steal it away from that clip edge real quick. Just great. take a hard left. Uh, Mary, thank you. So daybreak, Merriman. So daybreak. Yeah, daybreak city nights. Um, if anybody wants to throw like a mod love emote in, in oh, the chat yeah. for like Nuke and Panda and Dee and, Dee and Dee also Dee. for yeah. Merriman, who is an amazing mod in in their own right. Yeah. Start reading the chat right here. I'm important. Dapper twenty two squish using her own emotes because she thinks they're so <laughs> uwu. <laughs> I, I mean, they kind of are, though. So. Yeah. Oh. Thank I mean, you. Nailed I love, it, Nuke. That's, why you, that's why you have mods, is to do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'd be into talking about Daybreak City Nights. I think if people are here in chat, they probably caught a bit of it. But for the record, for posterity's sake, in case somebody watched this later, Two days ago, we streamed a session of Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition that we called Daybreak City Nights, and the concept could be described a few different ways, but it was essentially... <laughs> Val and Vane called it uh, that Will Smith movie Bright meets Miami Vice. And that, now that we've done it, oh. I think there's there's something to that. I see we, that, yeah. We did, we did a little anachronistic um, combo of of the culture and aesthetics and vibe of of sort of the not exactly the '80s, but the retro '80s, yeah. as like envisioned and depicted in like synthwave and new retro wave and outrun and that whole mm. genre of music and art. Mm -hmm. Goldie's mm -hmm. joining us, Ooh. and we played we played a D and D game using the D and D fifth edition mechanics in that 
in that setting. It's a Goldie. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Um, good. We have a, we have our first uh, question about the show from oh, uh, let's Wor go. Worena. Worena. Wor 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 <laughs> Elegant. If you were gonna if you were gonna have people pronounce it Ren, why would you spell it like that? Imagine. <laughs> Uh, how off Crazy the rails man. were, was, I think this is for me, were you expecting the cast to go? Did they meet or exceed expectations and how did you prepare for it? Okay, That's a really good question. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tell us about um, your prep. <laughs> I both over and under prepared, which I think is inevitable as a, as a game master for any role playing game, because you never can fully know which details are going to be important and which which places and people are going to be encountered and what choices people are going to make so you always wind up having things where you're like oh god i didn't figure this out beforehand and i need to make it seem like this exists in the world already and also like oh my goodness i spent hours on this and it is irrelevant for instance there was a way for the um and and well, I'll give this example. There was a way for the bomb to become activated. There were like conditions in the Sator Ninja combat under which it could be triggered and begin to count down. And the way to defuse the bomb was a chess puzzle that I oh. created and drew. <laughs> I drew a like holographic chess puzzle what? representation. Oh shit! I would have, I'm not gonna I would show it so because I, I saw. Know. I saw it. I in know. The... Kylo would win all over that. All I do is chess puzzles. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. No, I'll just. Well, no, it'll be hard to share. It's, yeah, someday. It's someday. Maybe. Jo maybe join in a the later Adventure episode. Tavern Discord. Uh, maybe it'll show up there. Yeah. I mean, I was paying attention to the ramblings of uh, a little Jacob, I believe was his name, and I was like, okay, I'm picking up that there's. There's some there's some shifty shiftiness going on with this bomb here, um, and of course Strel didn't know that. But yeah, like, I had I had a slight I was like, spoiler. I'd be a little careful. Because I yeah. um, I have the pro account and I set the game up so I could see all of the individual scenes that LSP had set up. I didn't go into them, um, but when when we got like I don't know about ten minutes through the bomb scene, I was like, ah, this is probably what that chess one's for. <laughs> it's so uh, I, I sat, the, the square-shaped plinth with a flat surface on the top. Too bad we just like annihilated those satyr ninjas. Like it was. They never nothing. stood a chance, dude. Too bad <laughs> I just like punched the living daylights out of them, and they just. Too bad I just missy stepped in and used magic missile accidentally. Too bad they'll <laughs> never <laughs> eat baked goods ever again. Yeah, too bad. Now we no need to get the campaign to level twenty. Ninety-nine percent <laughs> wild improvisation. It's always both more improvisation. It's always more improvisation than you hope for as the dm like there's never i've never run a game where i'm like i was ready in every way because you <laughs> cannot no no plan of action survives first contact with your enemy the players mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> which mm -hmm. aren't really your enemy but um kyle you you talking about that misty set moment yeah one of one of the things i really want to get your guys's take on is your impressions of one another's characters Oh. Like, was there anything that you were like, was like a, a surprise to you? Like, oh, I didn't think this person would do that or anything you just want to like gush about? I'm just going to gush about how absolutely incredible every single one of you were. It was Holy phenomenal. Shit, and so I hot. <laughs> Don't make me blush. Yeah. It's too early to blush. <laughs> it's just, it was pumping. so easy to like bounce off of everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. that's like one of the biggest obstacles when when you're role playing, it's it's trying to find those interactions where you can like establish a relationship between the two characters, even if they've never met, or if you're trying to simulate an established relationship. And the fact that we were able to kind of just jump in right from the start and actually play off each other 
it just it worked so well and i was so happy about that dude i was yeah. like i'm gonna throw stacy and goldie together <laughs> and i was like we'll see you know maybe they'll and it was like oh wait no they have incredible chemistry All right, <laughs> <sick>. <laughs> I don't have to do Lo anything. and behold. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think a part of that was also like we had all really thought about our characters and we had flushed them out. We had given them like a lot of heart and feeling, good motivations and stuff. And so it was really kind of easy to bounce off of each other because like, you know, we we already knew what our characters would do and how they would approach something. So it's not like they were standing around awkwardly, like they we already kind of knew what they were thinking about. I mean, at least that was how it was for me, but I feel like that was kind of how it was for everybody else too. Yeah. Yeah. Valen's being a little bitch in chat. Yeah, I see, I see Valen being a little bitch. I see him. <laughs> Hi, Valen. Oh my God. Love you, Valen. You're a gem. Do we, does someone apologize just to, just to mm. get some retribution here? Sorry. Uh, well, sorry, you're so awful. I think I should be the one to say sorry. I'm sorry. Be, yeah, it should be Kyle and, yeah. uh, and Goldie, right? <laughs> it is in our blood to apologize. Yeah. Just maple syrup and apologies, my friend. I, Pretty much. I want to say... With the maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> So we're sorry about the maple syrup. I think that's what's on the seal, right? You know, like the... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Sorry, may contain maple syrup. <laughs> may contain maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, nobody will ever yes. be able to predict taco trash can. That's absolutely true. I want to say this. I loved the... Um, the Rory slash Edge arc, <laughs> which was like, okay, so he great. gets introduced as like so cool. <laughs> and that veneer evaporates yes. it's like... so quickly. <laughs> and I love that. Like... I love that I... dynamic. But then at the very end, it was like, but wait. <laughs> wait, I actually have I know, intercept like, the attack. That, but he's that's actually cool. shocked me. Like, uh, like we I'm, all kind of knew. I'm so glad. I was like, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna expect a fighter to have Yassi stuff. Yeah, none of us knew. Uh, like, we all kind of knew. Like, ah, yeah, we got a couple rogues, a couple magic uners, monk here, and then Kyle comes out and is just like, so I'm gonna misty step, and I'm like, yeah. wait a I'm second. I'm a human fighter, <laughs> and you're like, oh, all right, yeah. I no guess it's good deal. to have somebody kind of vanilla. And he's like, <laughs> with misty step. <laughs> <laughs> Just casually teleporting. What? <laughs> it's just yeah. no big deal. All As you do. Just like, poof. As you do. Also, As can we do. say, can we say, like, thank whatever for frickin', uh, your, your second win? <laughs> I know, I'm so glad. I was, was so close to dying. I was yeah. so, like, LSP DN'd me the amount that I got hit by and how much health I had left, and I was like, no. Yeah, when he said he was DMing you and oh, not no. actually saying it out loud, I was like, I oh, we all God. kind of knew it was screwed. 2d8 plus 1. And I rolled a 7, and then I rolled an 8. <laughs> you do the math, everybody, but that's a lot. Sorry, that, two, that a, would've... a d8 oh, plus 1 twice, right? 17. Yeah. That, that would have uh, knocked me out. That's a good chunk. Good chunk. And I love too oh. that it was like the only pe the only reason why you got your ass kicked in that fight was because it wasn't your fault. own party. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Don't do apologize. Wrong. I will never apologize for that. <laughs> you I'm left me. <laughs> It that was that was the reason why I, I, I honestly loved that interaction. I I'm had just like the trashiest roles. I did what I had to do. <laughs> I, I I just love the interaction of this nervous high school kid trying to like play it cool and be edgy and stuff and like okay this person like they're they're like kind of like leading me on i'll, I'll go with them they seem to know what they're doing and then you just like get me caught and they're like later <laughs> and then Take blame me caught. for I the, for the a bad liar <laughs> <laughs> no you I'm you objectively so got him caught you backflipped <laughs> into his body <laughs> anime yeah. awkward interaction style <laughs> which thank you astacom are you the one who like made it even weirder like how compromising is this situation somebody said that i think it was yeah. you yeah it was totally i, I put was my foot in my mouth uh, no, I, 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 I we were all like a excuse. huge mistake saying that <laughs> oh well rory's oh, 18. Well. 
It's a PG-15 channel. You're allowed to say compromising position. I, yeah, and I, hey, this is based on the 80s, and you did reference 80s shenanigans, and that is yeah. something that happens in 80s films. It's yeah, a true. stupid thing that happens in 80s True. Films, but it's a thing I'm that happens in You know what I think it was? I think, I think it was... Uh, you remember the end of the song can you feel the love tonight from lion king where they uh -huh. roll down the hill and then they're just uh -huh. like staring at each other uh -huh. <laughs> that's that's the vibe uh, i was going for the sort of like awkward oh wait we're not supposed to be on top of each other we'd better not do this it was good zabadian gave Ooh. uh their answer to dapper dame's question dd was asking um how does a GM go about corralling the cast to guide slash force them into an area? That's and hard. There's crew. <laughs> That's really hard. And Just yeah, I, if anybody oh. knows, let me know. <laughs> uh, making hey. parts look enticing and, and with known characters playing into their motivations is one thing. And, and I think another thing is... Um, you guys were nice to me like you in the one shot it was more cooperative i think you could tell like okay like i see where lsp is leading this and rather than being like mm, let's deviate from that you were like okay we're gonna we're gonna follow the hook that he's laid out for him and for us in a little bit of yeah. an intentional way i think in a in a weekly campaign it's a little bit more fair game to be like okay thank you for giving me this option um mr or mrs dm i shall be over here <laughs> you know what i mean yeah because you can have time yeah. to explore other things yeah. and you've usually built more um you know i had some i had some uh thinner walls that could have been seen through, could have been poked through with more explanation <laughs> right because yeah, right. of the time commitment to putting together a one shot and i mean like sure. my perspective of D, D personally this is just like what I think is it is collaborative storytelling. And so like, I think it's a real dick move to just be like, I see what you're doing here and I'm gonna not, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like to yeah. me that is just like so rude, like especially since like, I, I mean, we all know the game, like we've all been players before. So like, mm -hmm. you know, that's just rude. Well, and I like to think well, that we're nice. Well, Astagon hadn't been a player before. Well, had it been not, a player not of in, yeah, five, not five, five, not, but I've not in a not a D and D. In, in terms of like player etiquette, yes, complete, yes, completely yes. ignoring the GM's big plot hook. TM, you know, flashing neon sign. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. check out this lemonade stand and have a <laughs> chat yeah. to the vendor yeah. there. You don't want to talk to the wizard at the table, no. I'm no. <laughs> what's that? What's that no dwarf thing. doing over there? Yeah. Like passed out at the what's table. What's their dad's name? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sir, tell me where you're from. What is that city all about? What do they do there? Why? Have, you, best, have you been here for a long time? Who do you know? Like, yeah. ah! like these are the questions yeah. you can ask to punish your DM. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why. I, this is why in my campaigns I prepare all of these answers before time because mm -hmm. I am so bad at thinking of stuff like that on the fly. Yeah. Oh my god. I and uh, my tendency is to prepare a few of those characters of just like, okay, here is a character that I don't know any, I don't, I know everything about them, but I have no idea where or when they'll show up. And if I need a person that I didn't expect to need, it's this person and then this person and this person. And if we get through those three, it's gonna get, it's gonna suddenly become just like reskinned Val and Vane. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling for people that I know. They're like, oh, uh, this oh. is a, well, you know what? No, I'm not gonna tell you because I still have them. <laughs> it's all you can keep them up um, your sleeve. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Mr. Snacks, that kind of leads into a question that I saw oh Ren ask, if yes. you don't mind, I because I really like uh, this question. Um, Ren says, the characters seemed very well fleshed out. You all did so well with creating personalities for your characters and incredible outfits. What did you all do to get into your characters prior mm. to Saturday? Um... I mean, I'll let you, I'll, I, I'll, well, shall, shall I lead? Because I'm an, I'm an easy answer for that. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, go lots for it. Lots and lots and lots of reading. Oh my goodness. Um, because <laughs> because this system is completely new to me, the, the last time I did anything closely related to Dungeons and Dragons was like 10 years ago in 3.5, and that was hideous. Uh, and a bit of micro like 20. 
So I um, I was coming into to this with very very little knowledge. So I needed to concentrate more on the mechanics than I did my character. So I based my character off like um, start, starting with the writing prompt of prompt of rogue archaeologist, which sort of morphed into Indiana Jones meets Miss Frizzle meets who was the other one? G Giles. 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 Yeah, yeah, Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Hell yeah. Yeah, because I suddenly discovered my character was supposed to be the responsible adult. Which was not necessarily going to be the case until we all met and, and gave like, a <laughs> yeah. brief introduction to our character. And yeah. it was like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. you guys are wildly irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> all of us. All of us. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> and um, the, the, the sort of awkward, the, the awkwardness with the, with the lectures and stuff, um, that was completely improv. Um, so good. So you, good. like, nailed that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just completely improv because it. it sort of bounced back and forth a bit because I wasn't because I was having some technical issues with the stream and I was trying to sort those out at the same time as Aww. trying to trying Aww. to do the initial lecture and Taco Trash Can bless her oh, heart yeah. was like oh this is so boring <laughs> plot hook I can hook into that thank you T mm. thank you Taco Trash Can um, <laughs> so we so and then and then of course. Um, being able to bounce that and threaten you guys with a dull lecture about some um, some specific part of history that may or may not be relevant to what the task at hand a little later on, which I thought was really yeah. nice. And I mean, like tying into that, like uh, we had talked to each other about our characters. Like we hadn't talked about everything. Like I said, like I was still surprised by Kyle's character, which was fantastic. Um, but we had kind of like an idea of what our characters were like. Um, to answer Ren's question, uh, I actually had my character before. Like this is a, a remodel of a of my very first D and D character, and so they're like based off of like a very kind of specific area of my life. So I kind of just like tacked back into that, pulled it back mm -hmm. out. Um, and the outfit and the wig sure helped. Costumes can oh, yeah. really take it to the next level. Um, but I think like having an idea, like we kind of just had a discussion a couple times before yeah, um, to get we, to know we, everybody, and I think that kind of helped us a lot. Having yeah, we, we sort of characters. we sort of like yeah. would we know each other previously? How can we have some mm -hmm. like plot hooks to kind of have mm -hmm. an excuse to interact with each other? Yeah. And that's yeah. where that's where I came up with the idea of knowing um Tonya's grandfather from like 80 years ago and I owed him a small favor and that's why I gave him a cookbook um and I'd worked with um Strel previously um and she was quite right to to call um call Aelin out on his uh, on his fumbling <laughs> with the with the with the sort of brief backstory we could tap in <laughs> before and um oh blast uh, what was your character's name again Goldie Winona. Winona. Winona uh, yeah. yeah, and and like we Winona also had Ryan. the, mm, we also had um, you know some plot hooks that probably would have interacted with Renona um, mm. beforehand as well in a yeah. professional capacity. I uh, think so she we, had like at least some kind of like vague connection to most people, except for Kyle's character. I don't think we had any kind of connection at all, except for like mm -hmm. through Taco's character. Yeah, my main connection was through the high school. Mm -hmm. my yeah, sister. like when Strel said that they were the fresh meat, it was very much like the kids were the fresh meat. Um, and they were just getting introduced. Uh, but everybody they were else very high had quality fresh meat. They were very good fresh meat. Wagyu, beef, yeah. fresh meat. <laughs> the finest of the finest. Um, <laughs> lots of layers of fat, but like the juicy fat that like cooks well. <laughs> I'm Just keep keep going, sure, like, Stacey. Yeah, keep the going. analogy's I'm only sure getting like better. Getting myself into better. this hole right here. Uh, Get all yeah. cozy in this little hole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good call, Ask on dropping the questions. I have a Word document, but it's much smarter to, to throw them in the... Uh... In oh, yeah. I, I just, live I just cast threw, chat so that we can through the see oh, live, what we want to get to. Wow. Yeah, thinking about things. That's a good idea. Clever. Wow. Oh, yeah. Can um, you imagine thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that, that was sort of getting um, 
I oh I super quickly I can answer a couple questions about like system. Um, mm. I th someone asked oh maybe it was Nuke. Uh, what optional rules did I give you guys access to in order to make your characters? Like what books and stuff like that. And what I told everyone was anything published in a book, um, a D and D book by Wizards of the Coast, uh, not unearthed arcana because that's sort of like their fun like play test rules that aren't necessarily balanced and i said it i felt weird about having anything from um the because the, they've published some stuff that's based in the uh, magic the gathering universe um matt mercer's um oh, what's the name of his setting critical, critical role, role? Critical role, Critical but it's role, uh, Exandria, but Chronicles oh, yeah. of Exandria, I think. Yeah. And then um, uh, Wild Amount is merely a continent in Exandria, Senbar. Oh. Um, okay, so. <laughs> uh, and uh, the uh, Penny Arcade one. So, because because it's like that is a that is they're doing something kind of similar to what we're doing, where it's like you're taking the D and D rules and doing your homebrew additions and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't want to also use their stuff, but anything else that's like from the generic five E setting was fair game, including like people use stuff from the latest thing, which is Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Yeah. yeah. Where a misty step came from. Yeah, that's that's yeah. how you guys yeah. made hugely broken oh, characters compared Maybe to Maybe why I didn't even know about me. that is because <laughs> I haven't read that material yet. Like I I, yeah. I didn't really like do anything special with with Winona. Like I I didn't want to make it over complicated and then like forget half of it in in the middle of combat or something like that because it was a one shot. You know, we I knew we didn't have you know, uh, many consecutive sessions to to suss out all the details and like get used to being a, a magic user, for example, because um, I've like my my usual D and D character is just a, a ranger, so I'm like not used to being a magic user. So bringing that into like a one shot and trying to figure out all of my like spell slots and all that kind of mm. kind of stuff would have been a whole thing. So I kind of got this image of, you know, a, a greaser kind of, you know, character who, you know, I mean, probably the, we'll talk about like more backstory stuff uh, if we're, if we're doing more episodes, so I won't say too much, but yeah, no um, yeah so, so that was like definitely where the inspiration came from. And then, you know, kind of go greaser, what goes with greaser, rogue, yeah. And then it just kind of like snowballed in my head and I just like, listen to music that was you know in that realm and then just oh, that's cool kept writing yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, I kept my my backstory intentionally very vague so that i could mm. hook into um different uh, different plot points that because lsp is much better at improv than i am for example so if he had a yeah, Aelin, Aelin would have uh, would may have may have met this guy like I don't know fifty years ago or something as an example. Um, I could go, oh yeah, sure, absolutely, because it's there's nothing really set in stone about Aelin's Aelin's character backstory beyond the character concept and the immediate like what's he doing in Daybreak and how I've interacted with the other characters. Mm -hmm. I think um, that's actually to to realize except if you guys are running your own campaigns are starting them there is value in having um a mixture of like and i think what the great thing is you can let people do sort of what they're inclined to do so like if like um for instance uh goldie and taco trash can more um and 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 Stacey as well i think you guys went more in the direction of like i've got an idea i want to start putting some it's like i want to start putting the the skeleton and the foundation of this house together with my character's story and then asakon and dragners you guys were more like all right let me fit into what other people are doing you know and and i think that's a really cool way to do things like the people who are passionate about like specific details in their characters backstories we can start there and then that mm -hmm. can inspire other people and we can layer on top of it. Yeah. I mean, I was super inspired by LSP's world that he introduced to us. Like, like, cause like I said, I already had my character pre-made um, and I was totally down to just like make another character, but I was like, oh, 
like I think this might be a really interesting way to like weave this in there um especially since like he had mentioned this like underworld of this like criminal underworld and stuff that exists um and like tapping into that um I was like well I'm not like a super dark and scary person I don't know if you could tell um <laughs> <laughs> so like how could I fit something that I can kind of like relate to in this world um and such good world building really like oh good that's really what kind of got me started was just like we I think I have something that might fit for this can't give enough credit to um thunder porpoise music and 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 i'm not exaggerating when i say like i was like okay i have this very vague idea of like i was listening you know what i was listening to was the drive soundtrack that ryan gosling movie and like um <laughs> oh, there's a song by kavinsky i think called night call and i was like i want to play D D with this <laughs> which is but a so world. awesome yeah uh and that was it and i was like but you know we can't pl we can't play that on twitch um and, and i don't want to do the same thing as that i want to find a sound and that will let me start thinking about the the details of the world because the, as soon as i find the right song i know it won't be exactly what i expect and it'll change how I feel and think about the setting. And then I found the out there, which is the trailer song. And I was like, oh, a, mm -hmm. a giant uh, crustacean eldritch corpse. Carapace. That they built a, a city on. Yeah. <laughs> do, should we talk about the carapace? <laughs> oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Yeah, please do. We don't have to. We can talk about the carapace. We can talk about the carapace yeah, all day. Do you want to tell that story? <laughs> all right. Well. <laughs> um, so LSP asked me to do the, the voiceover for the trailer, which was awesome. And I Such did scream. Such a good choice. <laughs> and uh, um, but so I was, I was super excited about it. And for some reason, at some point, when I was reading uh, the script, um, carapace morphed into the word that is not even a word, carpus. You conflated carcass? Yeah, I think I did. It was the long dead. So like I I recorded probably about like all in all with like deletions, like immediate, you know, listen to it back, delete it right away. Probably like 25 takes. And then you I spent, chose like, hours. Yeah. I sent I sent snack pictures of like the blanket over my <laughs> microphone and the monitors and stuff, and uh, and so I finally got a take I was happy with. You know, I cleaned it up, I edited it, took all the yeah. like uh, the breath out and stuff. And, and then, then you did that several more times because you sent me like three of them or four of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't decide, and then <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh yes, this is amazing! Thank you so much!" And then like 15 minutes later, he was like, "So um." I sent it to my friend, and they told me that's not how you pronounce carapace. <laughs> <laughs> so and sad. I was It was a word a that I don't know if I had ever heard. It was one of those things that you read, which I also said quay during the show. Which yes, you did. Which apparently is mm -hmm. key. Yep. T-I-L. Um, I, I, just as a, I as a rule, that. I never... Um, call someone out like as an in, in in a in an embarrassing way or anything for mispronouncing a word because it shows they have read it. They they might have never heard yeah. it pronounced before, and I'm I'm not gonna begrudge someone for reading. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Yep. Good point. I'm Are we talking about, about that, how Goldie go pronounces into... carapace? It is carapace. It's I checked. I checked. I will die on this hill. No, yeah, I that's checked. The way we so we had English, to re-record it. U.S. English, uh -huh. U.K. English, Australian English. I checked all of the pronunciations, and all of them were carapace. Mm -hmm. Come at I've me. heard people say carapace. Uh, I, I, from what I can tell, that's not Valid. technically correct. I think it's carapace, and that's how I'm saying it from now on. Because we, <laughs> all, we, Goldie and I both did research. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure I was saying it right the second time. <laughs> uh, <yeah. sighs> oh my 
Like purpose is the realm in which smames. <laughs> this pronounced words are simply reusable for D and D names. I love it. Crappus. 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 Ah, crappus. I I, I want to hit a couple other questions people had. I want to quickly go back again because people had like some input and thoughts about the question that Didi had asked about GMs, like corralling people and forcing and guiding them into the area. And I think that like, it's something that when you're first running a game, you feel like you have to like build this really, you have to put a bunch of time into building a place and then your players have to choose to go there. That's not true. You can tell your players, you go there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can ask them why. And that's part of it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, to, to some extent, I think that like the, the sandbox style of game where you place physical locations and encounters around and allow your characters to explore them is a valid, cool game style too. And Empire is more that way, but that's not the only way to play Dungeons and Dragons. You can railroad games and basically say like, this is the next encounter, roll initiative. And I think that there's it's probably the most fun is usually somewhere in the middle. And mine is definitely more towards the railroad side and, and Empire is more towards the sandbox side. Mm -hmm. But I think after you've DM'd a few games, you realize like, okay, if we're in a sandbox style game and I don't have something prepared, I can railroad people somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. with um... Uh, with a one shot in particular, you've got to you really got to funnel the yeah, players into into absolutely. where you're heading. Otherwise, you're gonna end up gaming for twelve hours. As great as that would be, uh, we yeah. would be dead afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that implies that we weren't. <laughs> I know. I was about to say <laughs> <laughs> we totally weren't hanging out for twelve whole hours on Saturday. No, That's God, not no. true at all. No, I wasn't up until was five o'clock in the morning. That was a thirteen-hour call. <laughs> yeah, at the end of it. Which yeah, I loved. Was I needed it so high. Yeah, honestly, it was, yeah, so it was that very was, refreshing. Was, I never like, did I total bliss. I never did theater uh, ever in my life. Uh, I think I was in. Uh, production of the lion the witch in the wardrobe in elementary school but like in in high school and college you'd see people put on these productions and have like cast parties afterwards and it always seemed really cool because there was this um what's the word for like uh the like um <sighs> catharsis uh there's a thing of like we, we just worked really hard and, and had a fun and it was intense mm. and now everyone's yeah. just like let's celebrate it together yeah. and I was like man yeah. that Absolutely. always seemed really cool yeah. and I never got to be part of it and we sort of had one after the show yeah, it was did. really fun I didn't want to so go to nice. bed I know me neither I know I, I was like I'm kind of wiped but I love hanging out with these guys <laughs> I'm so lucky you guys let me hang out with you. <laughs> I know, right? I was thinking the same thing. I like, was like, I don't know how you guys ex roped ex me Excuse into me. This, but, uh... ex ex yeah, excuse we're lucky. me, everyone. But you are, you are all like really cool. Why the hell am I here? <laughs> Wait, no. You're you like started this my question. No, oh, quiet. You're the one Seriously. person who knows the answer to that question. <laughs> it's yours. It, this is your. I mean, this is yours. And you have this done collaboration such an awesome was your idea. Empire. I was like, my the first reason I decided to do a one shot before I had any idea what it was. Be I was like, Ascon needs to be a player. Oh my god, he's such a good DM. But every time I've DM'd extensively, I've been like, kind of wish I could just play the game though. And every time I've played a, played in a and D game for a while, I was like, I kind of want to be the DM now. <laughs> yep, pretty much. I would do much. it different. <laughs> Question: Does Astacon sleep? Oh yeah, I, I sleep <laughs> a lot, but the the sleep is often very haphazard. Um, before before um, daybreak on Saturday. I barely slept because I was so excited. Yeah. So I was I was rocking into that sponsored by caffeine. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know <sighs> what it was sponsored by, but I was in the same boat. I just oh, slept poorly, yeah, yeah. but I was also had, hella like, excited. An entire bottle of this stuff already. <laughs> um, I'd had one tin of cheapo energy drink I get from Lidl for twenty p um, to keep myself 
awake and you know roughly concentrating on the, the final edits I needed to do with like the overlay and volume levels and that kind of thing um, but yeah <laughs> I do I do sleep but it's a bit unreliable <laughs> casual sleep not formal sleep yeah I'm formal on Sorry. stream you see yes yeah, sleep formal is my stream. sleep is my dress down time <laughs> oh my goodness Elsie, I'm reading, reading already in chat. I'm just thinking, like, I'm thinking back to when we were uh, planning of like how to get into the location, and I remember thinking, like, we, we can't all do the same thing. Mm -mm. Like that was an explicit thought that I had that we can't yeah. all do the same thing yeah, because that was my could. thought too. <laughs> because it's just how like, we have done the what, same thing. How can we all like crowd to, like a big crowd of people be like, hi, we're all not on the list. We're, we're all in. <laughs> Let Sorry, us in. It's I much mean? more likely that only one person is not on the list, and I therefore, gave you like, three yeah. options. But okay. I was like, I was like, there are open windows on the second story, and other buildings that have two stories right next to this. I was like, surely they'll just all do that. Okay. They'll just go into an empty warehouse next door so, so, and <laughs> instantly gain access that's to no the building. Fun. And it will take <laughs> one, no one minutes, the things, and we'll start being in the party immediately. One, one of the things LSP said. Uh, after the after the episode was finished, he was like, "Okay, so I'm going to give you guys the option. Uh, you can go in through the front door. You can go in, um, you know, at the side. You can go in through the second store window." And the players were like, "Yes." Yes, all, all of the above. <laughs> the thing is, you had like told us, and I think you had told me, because Kyle and I had been like bouncing around the idea of a heist uh, one shot for yes. a minute. And so yeah, you were like, yeah, yeah. this is like a heist. And I'm like, all right, this is like a heist. We can't just like march in there like an army, because that's not what you do in a heist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't too. expect you to just march in. I, I, you're, you're absolutely right that like the options of like, Front door, back door, uh, couldn't have you couldn't have all gone one of those, and so that that's fair. But what, in my defense, uh -huh. you guys uh -huh. did did two and a half options. You went front door, back door, <laughs> and then Stacy split the party by then going the upstairs route, and then. Astakhan and Goldie split the party. At one point, there were four groups of people <laughs> in completely different places, which is like a live, I was having a nightmare. It was really fun, but I was like, I was like, I, I told these people we would play for four hours. And, and, and I thought that they'd be in here by hey, now. Not only hey. are they not all in, in the location that I thought we were going, they're in they're they're in the wrong place in four different ways. Oh my god. Okay. I I did appreciate yes. that you you're like like okay so Kyle and Taco Trash, you both like you go you go to meet up Stacy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, okay, cool. That was master work. Yeah. Three minutes later, was, they arrive. <laughs> they arrive. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, yep. I, I think I told you before, but I'm, I'm taking notes from you for DMing. Like I really, yeah, am. yeah. That, yeah. absolutely. Like I've, move. I've started making notes for like eventually when I get up the courage to DM something myself. I think, <laughs> it's, I think it's an underrated thing to tell players what their characters did. Mm -hmm. You have to be really careful about it because you yeah. don't want to take agency away from people and you have to know whether it's an important character choice or not. But if the goal is to... It, so so a dungeon or a party... Like that, that, that warehouse party was a dungeon, right? It was yeah. just a dungeon with a different skin on it and different monsters and different traps. Hmm. Um those are those are a game puzzle for fun dungeons are right uh you, those are like the i enjoy playing board games and, and computer games type of fun not the like character role-playing choice type of fun most of the time so if you decide you want to like if, if it starts being slow and not fun as a dm and you just want to be like you're past it now um Mm, let me do a technical thing really. you can just say like yeah. you, you're past it you know what i mean and you can yeah. warp yeah. people ahead of time and i think that that's underused uh, yeah i'm thinking back to like games that i've dm'd before and there's a lot, a lot of times that i could have just been like yeah okay you, you're at the end now <laughs> and i would have saved <laughs> that's like it. moving on sessions yeah exactly 
Yeah, I mean, there are like a lot of instances, especially like in D&D where like, sometimes you just need to do that. Like there have been, cause I've run a campaign um, of my own too. And there are times, especially if like they're in a city, I'm not gonna narrate every single step they take through the city. I'm just gonna be like, okay, you're here now. Okay, you're here yeah. now. Okay, you're here now. Cause like, sometimes it just has to be that way. Yeah. Just has to, just has to work. Hold on. Sometimes. Draw, drawing on my experience with uh, with Empire, it's, it's quite a roles heavy game. Um, you know, that I, I lean very heavily on the skills that those those guys have because there are a lot of skills you can take. Um, and and generally, what I'll I'll usually do is I'll say this role isn't too important. If it fails, it will just take longer. And for like going through a, a city, I'd be like, okay, navigation surface. If you didn't, if you didn't succeed like really well, you'll arrive like ten minutes late or something. As a as an example. Yeah, I like the way that works. And in the sandbox uh, game, it's really effective to give like time penalties to things because you have the other things that are happening, and we mm -hmm. feel as players like there are things going on as yeah. we are as we are doing other things. Like every choice that we make is a choice not to go somewhere else. And the time it takes us to go to that place is a, is a valuable resource in a game like that because we know that the thing we didn't do is probably deteriorating while we're spending time somewhere else. I have been keeping track cool. of the amount of time you've been spending, by the way. Yep, oh, I know. <laughs> I know that you have. <laughs> People <laughs> talked about like DM styles and we had this conversation offline, but I think this is worth sharing with everyone. You asked about your DM style, Astacon, and one of the things I think you're awesome at is having... A, the, the sense like you don't have to suspend your disbelief very hard as a player your world feels very ostensible and and tangible and like the things that i think would happen i trust are happening and not just like oh we'll go back and improv that you wrote it down <laughs> 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 oh my god but i mean the same thing can be said for you lsp like i've like, it's so easy to get wrapped up in your worlds, and there's just, like, so many, like, little details that are, I'm just, I'm like, oh, they're just so easy to, like, hold on to, and, like, they just make the world feel so tangible and real. Um, and it's so easy to stick a player in, in those kinds of places, and it's fabulous. Yeah. I think that's a thing, that's something I would encourage every DM to do, is, like, don't worry too much about having if you if you have one detail i think there's a temptation to feel like you have to have that level of detail everywhere you be like mm -hmm. oh i can't tell them what the menu is at this restaurant because they'll ask at other places too and no like books don't always go into the same level of detail for every location you don't have to but like if you if you decide that this building has a mural on it and you want to talk about the mural because you have a cool idea of it just do it I, th I think that that's a great thing to do. Like, if you have inspiration, write it down, and and maybe you will get to it, and maybe you won't, but it'll be there, be there for later. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things, n not to talk about my own campaign too much, but like, what, speaking of details, like, yeah. Um, my my players went into a tavern at one point, and you know, taverns are taverns. They're kind of just like generic -y places. Mm -hmm. But like, I had this cool idea of like the bartender is a dwarf, and instead of having like a shorter bar, there there is like this ledge that the bartender jumps on and off of, and like that's just like yeah, a fun stuff little like that, detail man. to spice it up. It and that's not? like all that matters sometimes. And like, you know, I'd just be like, all right, he's gonna hop down and run to the back, and then he's gonna hop back up, and just like silly little stuff to just make it feel a teeny bit more yeah. real. Like I don't have to explain the rest of the tavern, but like that alone kind of made it a little bit more unique. It's little bits that like flesh out the theater of the mind as well, right? Like it you don't have to suspend your disbelief as much when the world when you can like really picture the little movements and stuff that really help personify those 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 characters and mm. the the interactions you'd be having and that kind of thing like it's it's really mm. good as a, a really good example i think from daybreak was the incorporation of a sail into the into the tavern and suddenly yeah. my mental picture of the structure yeah. completely changed i was and like I oh, this is cool. life 
Yeah, we made that up on the fly. Yeah. yeah that the, was, that was <laughs> phenomenal. I was really impressed by that, actually. I was like, whoa, dude. That was so good. That was so good. Because you, you asked me if the tavern had a name. I was like, shit, probably does. Do you have a yeah, name? Yeah, I, I double-checked my backstory because I was like, I, I came up with a name for the tavern, didn't I? And then I went and I was like, no. <laughs> so I was like, do you have a name for this snack? Hi, Taco. Oh, hey, hey, guys. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I was like, hmm, he's a, he's a, he's used to be a sailor. The okay. salty sail. <laughs> salty sail. Well, because I was, I was like chatting to Strel, and I was like, I was like, I, I need to ask her if she's ever been to the salty sail. <laughs> but at the time, there was no, there was no name. So I was like, what the, I, anyway. It's fine. It it was great, and it was a it perfect was name. And the description of the tavern was so yeah, good and just worked. Mm. Yeah. Hey TT. Hey you guys. How's it going? Hello. Oh, How's it's going, going Gucci. I was super jealous. Everybody else got to join in here before I could. I was like, oh, don't oh. worry about it. I was oh. having such FOMO. I was like, everything's so cool over there. The and extrovert's sitting, nightmare. Watching your here friends with talk. Data. Real data. Oh. I was crying. Being a, well, you're here now. I'm here now. Just being a little. And we are so glad you're here. We love oh, yeah. have earned. Yeah, if you ever need a good Chaffern. fantasy name, just uh, throw an apostrophe in there. And throw an apostrophe, <laughs> change the stress a little bit, yeah. call it a day. I, I kind of want, I, I wish, I'm, I'm I've got a. Or steal someone a, else's uh, name five foot by five foot map of uh, a pair of continents that, that this takes place on. Uh, writ drawn on uh, graph paper like this. And this is potentially, if you can read very well upside down, this is uh, Empire what? Spoilers. But um, <laughs> it, it was, I, I went to a Staples office supply center and saw a pad of giant graph paper. And I was like, I don't care what this costs. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Must have. Take out a mortgage. <laughs> it has been the best, like, oh D &D D DM resource. And I made, like, a, f a four sheet by four sheet thing. And so I could just, like, get right teeny tiny little details in it. Yeah, I, I was super. Wow. I was super impressed with like how how much you have fleshed out other cities. Because like, I DM a game. Well, it helps. City. Okay. So, I have one city where it all takes place in, and then nobody else allowed to go out from there. If they do, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm absolutely in It's the just toilet. the void stretching on to infinity. <laughs> yeah. so here, 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 but the thing is, that the, okay, okay, the lovely thing about a fantasy setting is that that is fine because that is how it was. Maps had big blank spaces that said, here there be dragons. Yeah. The world and, was and, like that for a long time. Yeah, yeah, you don't have, people think you have to draw, like people who start with a world map, I get because it's fun, but you don't need a world. I don't have a world map. I started with a town and I started with a valley actually. I started with a ziggurat in a valley. The thing about <laughs> Daybreak City Nights is that that helps with this feeling of it being in a world is that it takes place a hundred and fifty years after the campaign that I DM'd for my friends in 2019, which takes place at the same time as a campaign I DM'd for my friends a couple of years before that, which takes place in a campaign that I ran <laughs> with my mom and dad. <laughs> what? That I based Wait a off second. Of, that what I based is your off snacks of, family um, campaign? And we're kind of a part of, of it? A, uh, Honored an actual like wizards of the coast module the, the the one that comes with the basic you know what i the, the like um what is it called it's like the beginner's box for dungeons and dragons and it includes oh. a, a like level one to three session so That's crazy nuts uh, i also this all takes place in the same continent and and, and like the stuff that they did change was it the lost world. minds yeah, Fandelver. Yep. Yeah. So if oh. you ever, if that was you the first module I ever going, played. 
Yeah, me too. I, a lot of people played Lost Mines of Andover. Yeah. I, I had I, the sense to change the names of places. So there's no place in our world called uh, Neverwinter or <laughs> or Fandelver or anything yeah. like that. Um, but like there are some very thin reskins. <laughs> Interesting. Fair, okay. Fair. I, know. I mean, there is a, great, a there is a town that is a hundred percent Fandelver. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, I'm never gonna let you go there, but it's on the map. I actually will uh, will actually be playing my very first Neverwinter campaign this Friday. My husband's oh, DMing yeah. something. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, my husband's wow. DMing something, and I get to escape from a prison, so I have to create a character for that. And I'm oh. like, love it. And I'm like, should I go deep into the backstory as I normally do, or just be like? Hey, I'm a tiny criminal and just be a gnome and like stab people. Like, hey. <laughs> I mean, so I don't know, you know how to not go deep into a backstory. Like, I you're amazing like that. I don't know how to not so make a like deep that. backstory, and I don't know how to not make it dark as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I remember I told some of you guys some of the like some of the key points in my backstory, like why I'm in Daybreak, and you're just like. And then Douglas like, That's I'm a dark as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a high school. I'm in high school. <laughs> I'm in high school. Meanwhile, my parents are nice to me and they love me. <laughs> I'm baking <laughs> cookies and it's my I life and cookies. my love. I love it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I think, uh, so far, this Winter. is only the second player I've ever made. Because I've only ever DM'd before. Because that's the only way I could get people to play with me. Hey, really? <laughs> oh no, yeah. Dragners! Really? Can you so imagine first... not wanting to DM for Dragners? No, I really cannot. Well, like I didn't, I didn't know people who played D uh, D D. So it's like, okay, so I'll make a D D group, mm -hmm. and I'll be the DM. So you guys, so I can teach you guys how to play it. Yeah, I mean, DMs <laughs> are always so <laughs> rarer than the than the players. Like I'm, I am fortunate, and like I have a bunch of like D and D nerds around me. And like, and so like, I could just like be like, hey, I would like to be a player in a game. And then, and then I could also be like, hey, I would also like to DM a game mm -hmm. as well. So it's like, I don't know. It is pretty lucky though, but DMs are definitely like few and far between. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm totally new to this world. Like I, I started my first campaign last July, like ever. Um, yeah. Not, yeah, not like a 2020 July, you mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I was just, I was sitting there, I was like, I'd really like to play D&D. &D. And then people were like, yeah, D&D &D is cool. And I would just be like, yep. Yep. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then yeah, my friend was one. like, I found us a campaign. Get your ass in here now. <laughs> That's so. funny. It's a pretty fun way to hang out with people. Oh, it yeah. is. It's a great is that, way to hang out with people. Is that the one you do on the Saturday, is it? It is. Yeah, we, we uh, yanked Goldie away. It, it actually ended her. up being canceled. Oh, um, I hope that wasn't our fault. No, it was <laughs> Lunar New Year's fault. But actually, one of one of my party members slash friend IRL was, was in the chat the whole time, which was, which was fun. Yeah. So great. Aw. Splash water in my own eye. Oh, don't cry, <laughs> LSP. Don't. I know it's, it's so, so tender, <laughs> but like. Uh, Get yourself wanna... together. Friendship. I want to answer Witter's question from earlier super quick about yeah, uh, the temporary tattoos. Yeah, I want to Those know more are about these brood. tattoos. Love that. Uh, there so, is love so that. good. In Tasha's, I, I, there I... is a tattoo thing, though, too. Right, there are built-in rules about getting magical tattoos and what they can do for you, and I think they're like feats. I was reading oh, through them. They're I, like spell scrolls, as far as yeah. I know. They're okay. Usually they like disappear. one time use. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's actually very after. similar. They're actually very similar. Then that's that's I, it. I kind of feel shitty about that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they already came up with it. I thought I was the one who who came no, up with the, the temporary idea. tattoos in the machine. That's so yeah, no, that good, was, that, dude. That was that's good. That was a glorious. I think that My scrolls are a great way because when you read through the player's handbook, you'll see a list of spells that are unbalanced, right? And like people are gonna take fireball, and they made fireball awesome because people want to be able to cast fireball. If you're playing a wizard, I want to cast fireball. So they're like, we're gonna make this do the most damage, so that people also feel like they made the right choice when they choose fireball, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But that also means that they have a bunch of other spells that people don't take a lot, 
they don't choose and it's not like there's like an experience balance of like fireball costs 400 experience to learn and ice knife costs 300 and costs less which is a cool thing about the dark heresy system is that they do have a, a balance there and it's different for each class it's very crunchy but um uh, 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 uh yeah so i i think it's really fun to pick some of the weird more obscure spells and give them to players as scrolls because then it's like okay you can just cast this and if you don't you've wasted a resource i love yeah. Featherfall. Yeah, I it's love one that. of my favorite spells actually I wish it came into use more often, just because, like, as a yeah. person, as, like, well, like, also typically, too, as, like, like, a person and a player, like, the DM will be like, you're on top of a mountain, and you have to get to a village down below, and I'm always like, feather girl, I'm <laughs> jumping, I'm jumping, girl, and the rest of the party's like, well, the fighter's like, I guess I'll walk down, like, you know, like, I really hate being restricted, so I typically always go for Featherfall. I yeah. have forgotten that I had Featherfall because I knew that that one was Featherfall. The kitty with the feather. I knew kitty that one was Featherfall. I knew that I one know. was Featherfall. Yeah. I was like, because I know that there was some tension between <laughs> Rory and <laughs> Tanya and Strel. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But I was like, you know, Strel kind of has this tendency to just yeet herself. In yeah, direction. I love that you gave yourself the spell that gave you Featherfall and you didn't jump out of the window. <laughs> I took the stick. Like, bolt, and I was like, okay. Um. I, so like, it's so like in the in moment. In your defense, you're recovering from a concussion. Yes, in my yes. defense, I'm recovering from a concussion, but also. But also. But also you gave yourself for their fall and then watched your party member jump out the window and then didn't. Yeah, <laughs> but also like the inter the hallway interaction, that brief moment was worth oh, it. So good. It was so weird. weird. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. weird. That was <laughs> but it's so real. Like it's, if two yeah, exactly. like you could That's picture really... two teenagers absolutely doing that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> It was it was one of my favorite moments, and that's why I'm like I'm, I'm like dead. this everything. Me forgetting I had feather fall is completely fine. The only thing yeah. I felt bad about was that like the other one was five temporary hit points, and I like I had a feeling it would help. It was two d six. Two d six. Oh my gosh, that's juicy. I, I could have used I, that. Yeah, no, I yeah, had a feeling it was that. gonna help Dragners out, and like. And like, I was just like, I was like, ah, but this other one seems like it would either be magic missile or like enchant weapon and he's got a weapon. And so that's why I slapped that one on him. I should have slapped both of them on him and gave myself another ball. <laughs> <laughs> really, I should have done that. It was but good though. It's okay. it I, I appreciate good. the magic missile. I was able to use that. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean like coming in and then just magic missling, like that was pretty epic. So. And honestly, yeah, I say that I'm kind of sad about not not getting tattoos, but it's totally justified. You shouldn't have given Strel tattoos. I shouldn't have given Strel tattoos. She, she didn't show an interest in the tattoos. Like there's no, no there's no scenario that I would have been like, yeah. hey Strel, would you like a tattoo? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no, there was none. There was like, none. Yeah. You're talking us down. You're totally like, oh, these fine. kids. It was like, okay, we're just, we're gonna put yeah. in these tattoos. She, she's not gonna find out about these. Yeah, yeah. It's like Don't just the tell teens mom. going behind the one adult. Yeah, yeah. Tell mom, we're doing <laughs> exactly. this. I said it, it. I said it during the show, and I'll say it again. Stra was not supposed to be a parental figure. <laughs> She ended up being one. Yep. Um, I, none of us were supposed to be parental figures. And yet we and ended we up are. with yeah. two teenagers. <laughs> yep. it's funny how teenagers three make adults. you feel like an adult <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden. Yep. Well, three three quote unquote adults, two teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> They're if you put Strel in literally any other adult situation, she will probably be the chaos child. But because there were two chaos children, she had to be the not chaos child. <laughs> chaos children. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. There, there um, was, there was a lot of chaos, and I am very glad that I was nowhere near it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> completely out of my depth. Oh, One of yeah. my favorite oh my moments 
in the entire show was when I realized that like that like Asakon and Goldie were like doing the mission and we yeah. had just collected temporary tattoos. Like the upstairs gang was like, well, we found some dead bodies and some temporary tattoos, y'all. <laughs> it's like, Alan, I'm investigating a bomb. Winona. I'm getting a girlfriend. Upstairs gang, we got tattoos. <laughs> I, the, the interaction when you telepathed Winona and said, "Yeah, we we got tattoos." <laughs> like it was just like it was just like like you know like here's the here's the capable party members that are doing all the heavy lifting, and here are the children. <laughs> <laughs> The one I mean, mom friend. Like, if you, it was... You, you all... I mean, played it perfectly to character, to be honest. <laughs> Everything was... That's the beauty of it, is we all know that that was 100% in character. Yeah. And uh, I think that also, like, it's perfect for a kind of, like, heist movie gone wrong. Like, that's what happened. Yeah. That's... That, it, like, it continued <laughs> my mind. That's exactly what happened. Just like, yeah, yeah, the plan goes wrong immediately, gets split up. One group's, like, doing something else. The other group is actually trying to do the mission. Mm -hmm. And then somehow they all, like, Rakeem... Uh, like, Re Come back together. I don't know. Reconvene. What I'm to say. Reconvene. Kyle, thank you. Reconvene. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Got you. I, the linguist has got you. I the only the only thing I dread to imagine though is just if the campaign was the three of us, me, Dragners, and Stacy's character. Oh, it would not have finished. Yeah, that no, would, we would not have made up. it to the. It yeah, blown we would have blown up. up. Yeah, we would have died. Everybody I mean, would have died. I'm so. We would have gotten like... there eventually. <laughs> it's too just... late. Like, it's Knowing like... Strel, the bomb might have gone off before we had gotten there. Or she might have triggered it somehow, just because, you know. I was very we'll concerned the fireball was going to be thrown into things. Yeah, I was like, I was actively faking, like, like, man, what, if I mess up, like, as a person, I was like, if I mess up, man, this is going to go all wrong. But, if, but what if? what if i just but then i started thinking like okay how like like in a good thing i had like several turns because i chose to run on my feet <laughs> i had several turns to think about what she would come pop in the room to do um and i'm like okay maybe she just wants people to run away <laughs> i just killed the guy but yeah no, i was thinking like i could you blow up walked everyone into the room and ended the fight via threatening lack of baked goods it was beautiful. It was one fine. Does. Cinematic. One does. Yeah. I, just, oh. I just imagine that guys like messing with them excitingly dabbing at getting down. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no more cake for you. <laughs> I well, I don't know what I was thinking. It was perfect. It, it, it was perfect. It, it was so, so good. Well. I I I have I would like to introduce structure. Okay. Potentially. I would like to have everyone here answer two questions. Okay. You can answer Ooh. them with the same thing. They are was there anything that surprised you? Like like uh in, in the game, was there anything that particularly you were like, I was not expecting that? And also, what was your favorite, or one of your favorite, doesn't have to be your favorite, what was one of your favorite details about someone else's character? Or one of your favorite things that someone else did? Um, if, I, wanna, I wanna ask everybody in turn. That's but, gonna be hard, because yeah. there are lots of really good answers to both yeah. of those. So many good answers. Okay, if you guys need a second to think about it, I think I could answer. Can you repeat okay. the yeah, first you, question? Yeah, you real start quick? and then we'll go around because yeah, I had my... already forgotten the first question. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, they were like, was there anything that really surprised you? And okay. and like, what was one of your favorite uh, details about somebody else's character or, okay. or something that they did? Um. Uh, so, so God, so many things surprised me, but I think that, um, the, the ways that, man, you, you guys came together and were like, we're going to connect our backstories on our own. And like, I was 
so uh, blown away by the guy way you guys sort of like uh, managed to like pull them into conversation in, in in a really believable way of like oh yeah like we know each other but you forget that you knew us and like we're going to remember like oh hey remember this is that person we met earlier but they don't remember it was like ah oh. um see ya I haven't been taking notes, Patrick. <laughs> See you, Ren. Bye, bye. Ren. Ren. Thanks for coming in. You're the best. Bye. Ren, I love you so much. Okay, bye. If love you, you, if you guys don't know yeah. this emote, this is, this is, oh, wait, what? My Goldie sub expired? This is the most humiliating moment wow. of my life. Wow. wow. I was going to put in the still wow. gold mod love emote, which is the Ren emote, except I don't have a still gold. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Yes. This one? There, there you go. go. Oh, no. There you go. The one dragon just put in chat. Oh, I, I, kill I, I, me. <laughs> <laughs> Dragners has a Goldie sub. Run I do have a Goldie sub. I don't, you have a Goldie sub. I think. Yeah. I have a Goldie yeah. sub. Do I have a Goldie sub? Yeah, I have a Goldie sub. No one is obligated Ooh, yeah, to have a sub to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is a complete joke. I, I don't expect you, I anyone totally to sub to me ever. Um, if I could afford it, I totally would. If I could afford it, I totally would. No, 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 no. Oh. Alas, Wait I a second. Now. Twitch.tv slash still gold uh, for LSP, that you got to you got to tell us about your favorite thing about your favorite character. No, it's not. I'm not asking your favorite thing about your favorite character. I know, I was just trying I to get you to, your... to, to say which one of us is your favorite. Yeah. No, okay, well, so, uh, I'll just pick an NPC then. No. Um, <laughs> Jacob, me. Jacob! Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob, like, the sweet I little baby. Jacob. He I wasn't a sweet baby, child. he built a bomb! Because he's, he's a sweet baby. I know. So I I, I know something. Everyone's rain right. text is now just Goldie's Instagram. Murgles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> if he is, Elliot Badger, when Murgles raided Dave by Dave, she forgot to copy uh, her the Murgle vibe emote. And the last thing she had in her clipboard was just Goldie's Instagram. So we popped into, popped into somebody's channel with a big chat. And it was like, boop. Oh my God. And she immediately got wow. auto-modded for dropping a link. <laughs> She's a VIP, so it didn't get deleted. Oh. It was not only that, it, that she dropped the Instagram, the mod was like, please don't do that. But it's just sitting there. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Instructions unclear somehow sub to stay. That'd be impressive. I am uh, waiting for the day that impressive. I can get a sub to SMC. Yeah, me too. No. I, I'm home. gonna get the first. I'm gonna. I need the founder badge. I yeah. need the founder badge. If I don't get yeah. a founder badge, I'm gonna be so upset. Yeah, so like you that is. Tell me, you better tell me the minute so I can sub. I'll, I'll do it offline to ensure that I get it. Oh Thanks. my gosh. So here's the thing. So I miss out on a sub badge of one of my friends because somebody was really nice and gifted me a sub, but I am still furious about it. I was like, oh yeah, I was if you get gifted a sub, that's oh. like a, a huge, that's like a huge I jerk move, but, but also it's kind of funny though. because it's just a badge, <laughs> but it's like, if you gift somebody who you know wants the founder badge, oh, that's a devious <laughs> maneuver. Yeah, wow. like you can't, you can't get a founder's badge. If you get gifted, it's so evil. Cause you're like, Cody, oh. what do heck? I kind of think, what do heck? Mostly a goat wizard is banned. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Goody, I'm gonna find stop. you, goat wiz. Goody. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. <laughs> so brutal. brutal. That is not a threat, that's a promise. <laughs> that's a promise, you're getting a kiss. <laughs> Thank you for that gifted sub. Oh, oh, I am boy. sorry for my obnoxious oh my cackle. Goodbye. <laughs> I, <laughs> Goldie, changed. I actively sound like a machine gun or like or like a squeaky machine gun. Don't you apologize? I can't. I can't also begin to tell you guys how much I tone down my my giggling when I'm on stream mm. because it would be oh a cacophony. God. <laughs> There's a reason I cover my mouth. It's because I really want to laugh out loud. And I am also, that my I've just, family is very. I've sleepy. just set the price of an LSP makeout at five. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just set that price for goats. So B now we'll go. Every oh five dollars. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll say this. I think that Oops. one of my very favorite details, and it's because it is a cool connection to a backstory thing, so we can't really get into like what this is yet, in case there's an episode two. Who knows? No promises. Is um, Tanya's uh, blue streak in her hair. Oh, yeah. There's some juicy Tanya stuff. There's so many details we can talk, we could talk about, but we could can't but talk we about, you know? We yeah. We're all, we we're all holding out. Uh, we're all holding I, I out. I do think this. There's probably a little bit, there's, there's probably a tendency to guard the secrets mm -hmm. more than you want, because I think most of the time, like, you, you bring some, some cool backstory thing out into the light and instead of being like and now i'm out of ideas it just spawns way more yeah sure. yeah there uh i mean like there's like a bunch of easter eggs i dropped in my costume in the pins for mm -hmm. why she has the blue streak in her hair really uh, yeah yeah they were all easter eggs all of them are easter eggs all of my pins <laughs> are easter eggs uh, to, today, we're gonna go LSP back to the bod <laughs> Um, but he's gonna go back to five thousand, <laughs> just like. And there's so like, good. and there was like a few words I dropped that were like, like, like a few sentences I was talking about that were also Easter eggs too. So, I think LSP should probably point them. Oh, there you go. <laughs> an Easter daybreak show. LSP, are you looking at the pins now? Yes. <laughs> daybreak to electric boogaloo. Let's go. Um, but yeah, so they're, yeah. Um, I think my favorite, um, something that, uh, really surprised me was, I feel like just like how everybody worked well together. Um, you know, like, I, I don't know. I, I so like the, the night after, like the night after the, um, show, I was really brain dead, absolute brain dead. I don't know if we've mentioned it before, but concussion. And so my brain was destroyed. I was actually the last hour of the show. I was dying. I like couldn't do it anymore. Um, and, but I had to push through. And so like, so the excitement didn't hit me till the next day. The next day I was like, that was so much fun because we <laughs> played D&D. &D, we got a little crunchy with them numbers. But then we also like did some like cool role playing and acting and that was all really sweet. And I don't think I've ever had an experience like that before where there's like multiple people wanting to push forward their character narrative and the story. And so that's like something I'm, I was completely blown away by and really thankful for. Um, and then what was the other question? Uh, what was your favorite thing about someone else's character? A thing, a thing you liked. Not your favorite thing about your favorite character. <laughs> I feel like I have opened a can of worms. You now we all have to play did. favorites. Yeah. Not playing favorites. It's just a chance to gas up something cool that you liked that you noticed about somebody else's character. I oh, but you I, know me. I'll gas it up all day. I, oh yeah. I loved. I really loved everybody's character. I. It's it's really hard to pick, but I think my favorite like, like. <laughs> My favorite other character moment was just when Dragners was like, call me Edge. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was my favorite other character moment. I think like, one of my other- Don't like, say my favorite, name. Like, like don't me say Edge. my name, real name. I can't. What? It was so funny to me. And I knew, I knew the moment that like, that like he said that I'm like, oh, Tanya's got this juicy piece of meat just go play with <laughs> like you just like gave tanya a gift it was just like it's tanya's birthday so today <laughs> it was so like, good. like it was just so so good and then oh my god i don't know i i really like just like asakon's character too of like of just just being full sold out being a huge yeah. nerd like was just amazing and just like his ability just to like play that up with like it was just so good, guys. Everything, everybody was so good. And then Goldie hit, making a gangster girlfriend it was like, man, this is so <laughs> yeah. fun to like listen was, to and watch. So yeah, good. I was gonna say that was probably the thing. Uh, I don't. It's not the thing that like surprised me, but it is something about Goldie's character that I just loved. I was like of course like <laughs> of course goldie's character is going to be this massive flirt that first of all flirts with strell and then goes and flirts with another like gangster's daughter like 
what a badass move. <laughs> like, I, wow. <laughs> Just like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Like, I was gonna say, uh, for one and two, like that, like that character detail. Your whole, I didn't know anything about your character really. Like, I think I knew about you the least. So it was so, such a joy to like see your character come to life. And I was like, I, I just didn't expect it at all. But you just yeah. did it so perfectly. It was amazing. Yeah, it was so. <laughs> smooth. Not favorite, but no favorites. I like all of you. Like Strel. I still. No you're gonna feel but... like you have to compliment everyone. Else, right? <laughs> kind of. That's no, we all are. That's what that's I'm no, 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 that's that's gonna do. I was gonna do that anyway. Yeah, Astacon, like your character, I loved. Like, I, I didn't get to play this as much as well before, but like, I, I also mentioned my character as like, even though they try to be cool, they are still like a student, so they did genuinely appreciate the lecture. <laughs> um, so I, I did, I did like that. Um. And, I, I like and, that, that uh, Rory is like the smart kid who like doesn't really want to be the smart kid. It's exactly you know? yeah. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like precious. I'm trying to be cool, but like I'm really bad at it. What's also I... <laughs> did we tell? Did we reveal what my, my character's last name was? Because I feel like that adds an extra of a, oh, a tiny did. little bit of layer. So my character's last name is Windblade. <laughs> So that's oh. why they're called. Edge. That's like where Edge came from as well. It was just like Edge, Edge, <laughs> Edge. Um, Edge Windblade. Something that it's surprised me long. was Edge and Bedge. <laughs> that, oh, you know what? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that that's one of my favorite moments. That that really that destroyed me. <laughs> Just, do you, do was, you know how just, hard it was like, for me to not crack up and ruin that scene when you I, said that? I, I'm both so glad I wasn't there, and also I wish I was there so I could like react as Edge to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> just like, like full disrespect. Oh my Two and a half edges. Edge. <laughs> Two and a half edges. <laughs> What's funny though is you were also just like a letter away from dredge, which is a real word, but veg is just. <laughs> yeah, you almost had another real name. Uh, Can't rhymes. have real names. <laughs> you just have to take like some random consonant, stick it at the front. Yeah. Well, wasn't, it, wasn't that the next line that guy was like, Lord well, your name's Rhyme. <laughs> yeah. so that's why we're working together. Yeah, I think I was like, yeah, that's why we were hired at the same time. Like, it's easy to remember names. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so good. And then, like, I, I also realized this is another thing I realized I could have done as, like, as looking back at the moments was like, it's like when you guys were looking for your name being on the list, I realized it could have minor allusion to your names on the list. Oh, yeah. but I didn't. I didn't. I forgot that I could do that. And uh, so that's how the party separation Outstanding. happened. But it's but, all Taco's fault. But uh, no, I could have gotten in credit, there. To my credit, though, he didn't even look at the list. He looked at the list. No, he didn't. He no, said, I wrote the list. I know that your names are not on here. Is what he true. said. That's true. So, but I could, but we could have been like, oh, check we could have been again. like, again. and then, yeah. and then, yeah, 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 but oh well. <laughs> oh, oh my well. god. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Strel tries so hard to be kind of a bard sometimes when she's, she's a monk, guys. She's a monk. <laughs> she's uh, a monk. I mean, she, she likes could... to think she has charisma. Does she? No, she doesn't. She could take her next level that, in bard. But... She's not. She's probably not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I already have plans. I have plans. Uh, Strauss... So many plans. Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce around, eating herself places. So Tactical many people eat. Go, go on then, Stacey. What, what was your really surprised and really liked? Didn't I already say it? Um, because I said. Oh, the thing I really liked, uh, I liked Goldie's thing, but if we're going around and talking about every, like our, our favorite thing about everybody, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I loved being able, I loved that we, uh, you and I, Astacon, had established kind of our little connection so I could just like harp on you and be like, oh my God, you're just so boring. <laughs> like I helped, I thought it was really fun and kind of reinforced some of the vibes mm -hmm. that you, we were getting. 
Um, and I think I already talked about Kyle and oh, yeah, how yeah. just that poof was... magic. Um, and uh, Tanya will never cease to surprise me in her levels of sass. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts of playing a teenager because I was not like that as a teenager. I was just like, I was very much like, okay, yes, I will do what you want me to do. Okay, yes. Okay, bye bye. Like, and I just was not sassy at all. So I loved doing all that. Yeah, it was so good. And I mean, I mean, I think I was more surprised by character choices than anything. Like, as soon as we kind of got together, I was like, ah, yeah, this group is going to be amazing. And I've played D&D with LSP before, so, like, I knew that he was going to be an amazing DM, and I was going to be teleported, and it was going to be fantastic. So I think the only thing that really surprised me were maybe some of the fun story points that we've been talking about. <laughs> yeah. I nominate Kyle. <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, the other, the other Kyle and made me do it, so now I'm okay. telling you to do it. So I already said, I think I said everything about everybody, except TT. TT, I love that we like had this connection together. Like we kind of like playing kind of off scenes to be like, yeah, we're gonna be high school students. Like you'll be friends with my sister. Um, so I, I, it definitely was nice to like have you play off of and have somebody. I guess that would be grounding for Rory, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that yeah, was like really that, nice. It wasn't like total fish out of water kind of thing. Yeah. No, that was that was really nice. I, yeah. I'm very appreciative of your character, even <laughs> though you shot a crossbow at me. I'm, I was I'm trying. So to be. Holy sh! Holy dude! That, wow. That, wow. Like that happened. <laughs> I, could... I will never get over that. What what surprised me the most about that specific interaction was that you didn't say, you know, I'm gonna like feign attacking him or I'm gonna like feign shooting him. You were just like, I'm gonna shoot a shot a crossbow. <laughs> we were just like, okay. Wait, what? Very hard into the, into the Are you switching roll. sides I mean... right now? <laughs> Another little behind the scenes. Uh, someone we're was like, discuss next now. I don't even remember who said that, but somebody would, either in chat or somewhere was like, man, like, I wonder, uh, Taco Trashkin is making some crazy decisions. I wonder if it's the concussion. And I was like, nope. <laughs> that was me. I think we mentioned that. I was like, TT is insane. And I was like, oh, oh this tracks. No. This tracks. I was like, the, the only difference would be she would have more energy to make these decisions. <laughs> More bad decisions yep. faster. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> wow. It's and, a character oh choice. And it's, I, I it's think the, the thing, D D oh. choices of someone who appreciates the work of the McElroy brothers. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. I I think the thing non story wise, so I guess like you LSP, I was really I was really happy and surprised and impressed with Jacob. Like, oh like, yeah. And, and you describe and having Jacob describe Bob and everything like I I loved every second of that. That was so cool and I was really really impressed and and like I, I expected you I expected that name to come up, but not in that way. Do you like how it came up at the beginning and the end? Yeah, I did. I like that. Like that Chekhov's gun. Little little kind circle. Of. Chekhov's circle Jacob. Back. Yeah, Chekhov's Jacob. Chekhov's Jacob. <laughs> Exactly. Oh my Hopefully, God. we've got some 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 juicy bits and pieces that were dropped in there that will come up in another episodes too, and be like, oh I God. So. I think between like you, LSP, and the rest of us, we were all just like dropping little things here and there, just for the hell of it. And you know, maybe we all want to play again sometime. Like maybe I don't know. You guys have sort of. You guys have sort of. Uh, uh... Mm -hmm. My brain doesn't work. Twisted your arm, you. so to speak. Twisted yeah, yeah, your arm. Is the word is. It's like a, a bribe or a kidnapping. <laughs> Hold you against your will. You've held uh, you've held me hostage to run another <laughs> session by by doing things that must be concluded. <laughs> yeah. What a shame! What a shame! <laughs> yes. How dare! How dare us! Black yeah, yes. How dare us! Stronger. We were all in a meeting well, together, oh like well. planning out different character stuff, and then and then everybody's like, "Man, we hope we do another one." I was like, "That's why we're doing what we're doing right now. It's called manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called the right manipulation." 
time. Jody and Sky. There's the right way, the wrong way, and the TT way. And Sky's like, is that the wrong way, but faster? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. I said this to my husband yesterday. I was just like, I was like, I don't know why I have friends because all they do is just roast me for everything I say or do. <laughs> Okay, but like in the same breath, I say it with the utmost, yes. with like the pinnacle yes. of admiration. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. I was expecting love, love not ad admiration. Like, no, admiration. To Come admiration. on. <laughs> no. I do. I admire the hell out of you. Yeah, no. Yeah. It was, again, such a joy to have you in the, in the party and play with you. Like, I just loved it. was wild and unexpected, everything that you did, but I was there for it, you know? Yeah. yeah. One Absolutely. of the things I was the most excited, and I, this is just what I like the most on Twitch, is being like, there are people who don't know how cool these people are. There are people who like haven't encountered Taco Trashcan and Stacy and the rest of the cast, and like we're gonna drag them in here. <laughs> and they're gonna they're gonna find out. You're gonna find <laughs> out today. Perfect. You're gonna find out today. Find out. together and get to know each other yeah because so i was solutions. like okay when people see these people play dungeons and dragons they're gonna fall in love and i can't wait and yeah oh yuck. 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 don't yuck. make us feel things come on yeah. <laughs> i don't have a you're not supposed to, to be wholesome i, I had look to, get rid to of you my to be the non-wholesome person here. You I know, little it's bitch dragon. Very warm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I feel better now. That's... All Quick. is right. There it is. There it is. All right. Oh so I'm the, I'm the only person who hasn't answered these me. questions yet. We haven't because... answered either. He hasn't? Yeah, yeah. I was like, Goldie hasn't answered either. No. Oh, I... I'm like Ooh. pointing places. Like, okay. that's where oh, yeah, things like, are mapped I out. Yeah. I, I will I mean, nominate I Astrakhan. I did. Or am I just. I thought Astrakhan did because Astrakhan nominated Stacey. Yeah, you nominated no, I, I was, me, I, so I, I thought that, you just went. Just because LSP was away, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, hi, LSP. Getting timed well, out by our mod and Welcome chat. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just because okay. LSP was Oh, well, it moves um, me on the doesn't it? That's funny. Sorry. I, I'll nominate Astacon. All and right. bring this into a circle, <laughs> yeah. and then we can go to gold. Docs. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for giving us love to you a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you a little bitch. <laughs> That's, that's oh my god. The hundred oh, ducks goodness. train keeps on trucking. Um, oh yeah. God, yeah. hundred ducks is the best. Love they're it. The best. They have the best like <laughs> randomly gifted subs. Like you're not expecting it it's at perfect. all. It's are so I, good. I laugh every time I see them. It's every it's single so time. Good. It will every have my time. chaos. <laughs> <laughs> have your chaos and eat it too. <laughs> Delicious Shove chaos. It down your throat. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's Astacon's turn. It is. Yeah. Stop pointing. I gotta stop pointing. So, so uh, stop. The, well, the, th the first thing that surprised me was the fact that it was going to be a heist. I was like, oh, okay. This is this is interesting. I'm I'm a criminal now. Um, and <laughs> oh, I'm I a had, criminal. Yeah, I had I had of course you know being fairly involved in setting this up. I had privy to a lot of the a lot of the setup and things. So there was very little about the characters themselves that surprised me but i was really pleasantly surprised by just how spectacularly everyone got on together in character that was mm -hmm. that was wondrous to behold so um, wonderful oh absolutely um taco your your character was was just an absolute master or a master wordsmith, honestly, and I I I loved that. And um, Stacy, you you were just a a fountain of shenanigans, and that was glorious to behold. And oh Dragners, you absolutely nailed the nerdy kid trying to be cool, but not really being cool, but then being really cool <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Thank you. Oh it's such God. a it's such a relatable thing that you see in people where it's like you are cool, but not in the way that you're trying to be. 
You know, we yeah. all have friends like that where it's like, I see you trying to be this thing, but if you just realized how awesome you are, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm absolutely nailed that and and goldie would work especially when uh winona and aelin were um were actually you know sort of working the floor and that that sort of gel of of getting the getting the job done and sort of you know shenanigans stop here job starts now i loved that that was so good had a mission. We knew what yeah. we were doing. Oh, yeah. So good. <laughs> so good. I, I had the liberty of not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally planning on doing the mission, and then I rolled poorly. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> I searched upstairs for the mission. The mission wasn't yeah. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of there is tough statues. <laughs> this is a bait good. Wait a second. Hunter Dogs said chaos is a bait good. That Tanya bakes frequently. Yeah, that's specifically Tanya's baked Tanya good. specialty. She yeah. she's made the recipe. It, it never tastes like the same thing ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we have another Daybreak City Nights, I'll make sure to have drawn and made the recipe for Chaos Cake. <laughs> oh my that was in that was in your grandfather's uh the the gifted cookbook wasn't it that was okay. one of them chaos cake. it will be elvish chaos cake yeah it will be elvish chaos cake. i i also like how that cookbook is not making its way back to grandfather whom tanya does <laughs> live with <laughs> tanya lives with grandpa grandpa will never see it that death will <laughs> never be resolved. That will always hang over your head. He's gonna come up in episode two, like you owe me, mo you owe me. <laughs> I gave <laughs> your granddaughter a cookbook, cabin, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get Tanya in so much trouble, <laughs> young I lady. Save. <laughs> I think um, the the I'll I'll finish us off with the the that wow words. Let's try that again. Words are good. <laughs> Words are great. Words are good. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, I'll answer the questions now. Um, I think one thing that really surprised me the most was just like how quickly and how well everyone settled into their characters. And I know that um, I've I've touched on this, and everyone has been touching on this, like how good everyone's characters were. But like not just the PCs, like we had our one character that we were focusing on playing. But Snack, everyone you brought in to like the periphery, like everyone was had a personality and was there. And like you just swapped between them so well. Yeah. And it just, it just, everything was so good. And everyone was just like dropped in and the world was real just instantly. And I feel like for all of us, sometimes it takes a few sessions to get where we manage to get mm -hmm. in in the singular one shot, right? And I think that that surprised me a lot, not because I doubted anyone, but just because it was pretty incredible to both witness and be a part of. Like that was just, it was pretty freaking awesome. Um, also the fact that I didn't drop an F-bomb the whole time, that also surprised me. But anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're all proud of ourselves for that. Yeah. yeah. So proud yeah. Of ourselves. We may have may not been like, get the Fs out now, and then all of yeah. us All of us have said the F word on this channel two fewer times than Amy sometimes has. Hey. <laughs> hey. The um, one yesterday was so good. She was like she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. No spoilers, recovery, I still recovery. gotta watch the VOD. I know, um, I don't go watch VOD 2, I was streaming. So that's a moment that you have to look forward to. Oh yeah. I'm anticipating oh, yeah. it. It is gonna be a moment of greatness, I believe it. I'm still catching up, but like, oh god, I love it. So um, good. oh god, and something that I like about someone else's character, well, since since we're kind of going around and complimenting everyone um well i'll start with i'll start with kyle because like i just your character i knew the least about going in because we we didn't get a chance to like chat really before um and 
So like, I just kind of had bits and pieces that I had heard from other people and how, I mean, I'm kind of repeating what other people have said at this point, but it was just, it was really cool to see like this, you know, nerdy smart kid who is trying to be cool. Everyone's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then you just turned around and we're actually really freaking cool. Like, <laughs> it was so good. Um, Taco, like Tanya was this arbiter of chaos. Just, I just, you were like this complete wild card. And I think it, it helped add so much flavor where where nobody anticipated it. And I think that was fantastic. A wild card um, sorcerer who is not a wild magic sorcerer. Not a wild not, magic sorcerer, wild believe magic. it or not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stacy, I loved Strel's like bubbliness. Like it was yeah. just, it was so fun imagining her like springing around and just like your description of like her movements and stuff. It was, I mean, the character you told me that she was like loosely based on, I could absolutely see that. And it was, and it was just really, really fun. Um, yeah, we can say it uh, loosely based on Ty Lee from Avatar yeah. The Last Airbender. <laughs> I think it's um, totally cool to like start your character off of being like, okay, this character, but with one little tweak, and then oh yeah, yeah. always get it's more like complicated. It's like Tylee there. meets me. <laughs> oh yeah, like my I had like a big jumping off point from uh, from Faith, from Buffy, and Catra. <gasps> um, oh. Yes. I oh. see. Those were yeah, like me too. I, I didn't even realize that. that was from, still... from what? But like nice. Oh, from She-Ra. From She-Ra. Yeah. I just oh, I watched all of She-Ra. Oh, that's such I loved it. So good. Okay, now that you say and, it, yes. Yeah, now you say that I okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um and Asakon, Alan, like the responsible adult in the gaudy t-shirt. Just <laughs> it, Perfect. it like balanced everything else, but it was so nice to you know, when we got into the party and like you said, when we just, you know, assumed the the rogue personas and we just like got down to business and we went to do our thing. Like it was just, it was cool to see that flip too, because in, you know, in just the one session we saw like both of these very key parts of your character, right? The academic, the awkward nerdy guy who has no fashion sense and also the, the rogue who knows how to, you know, go and get shit done. So that was that was really awesome. Everyone yeah, was, was just really incredible and it was so much fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was saying there was something I was gonna say about something else. Eh, whatever. It's gone. It's gone <laughs> I don't forever. Know. I don't no worries. Know. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna read hop in with an answer a question that was asked a, a, a while ago. Um, and about the uh, about the technical bits. Um, mm. so I think it was Zabadian was asking about, um... Might have been Nuke. Uh, Nuke or Zabadian. Uh, what's the technical setup? Um, so we use, we use Zoom for the call because we can, mostly so that we can drag stuff around like this if people get out of sync and things, which is super handy. Um, and it's also a bit more reliable than Discord's call feature as well. Um, and it's just easier so to work with. You can make yourself look more 80s. Yeah. Um, there's the oh, uh, yeah. there's the filters that we discovered completely by accident. Yeah. Um, before Where is it? before the show uh, on Saturday. That one. The sea foam one. Mm, that was really good. Um, and of course we we use OBS for the. Um, uh, for the for the streaming stuff, all of the bits in OBS. If I just drag this slightly, they're all they're all separate, uh, so that we have complete freedom where we can put them in. It also means that the oh, yeah. the, the person building them doesn't have to do a huge overlay and try and get everything right. Then by having the individual components, they can send them over to me, and yeah, I can do PNG pro borders with transparent. Yeah. In the middle. Yeah. Um, and uh, throw throw those in on the OBS overlay to to get the the different scenes built up. I can't really demonstrate on 
on this, um, how it's all kind of put together, because uh, Roll20 is a mess and I didn't anticipate I'd actually need to demo it, so I'm not prepared. Um, but it's it's the same each scene um, in that regard. Uh, we've got the, we've got, I'm going to do this very carefully. We've got the stream deck, so I don't <laughs> drop it this time. Um, that's used for switching between the scenes. I've also got the microphone controls here as well, in case I need to mute um, the uh, the VoIP call or myself. Um, we're using voice meter to split the intake, so I can control the volumes of the uh, the VoIP call and my desktop. And that's where all of the the music is coming from as well. On Roll Twenty, we're using Roll Twenty's built-in jukebox for all the sound effects and music playlists and that just plays back through the standard desktop audio capture through OBS. Um, I think that basically covers most of it. Uh, Roll20 Roll does a lot of the heavy lifting for us thankfully. Um, we have a pro account for that. I went ahead and bought one because I ran out of space on the uploads <laughs> setting up for Empire so I said hell with it I'll get a yearly sub for it. Um, so we can rely on um, Roll20, particularly for the character sheet actually, the D&D 5e character sheet in Roll20 is really good. Uh, it has this sort of wizard thing, and that's how I stepped through and built my character. I didn't need to go through the entirety of character creation, because it stepped me through it one bit at a time, which was super useful. Um, yeah, and for, of course, uh, a big shout out to Dapper Dane for doing a godly, godly work on the um, on the animations for the for the overlays as well. Really, really good. Um, Y'all know Sherps? Turbo Aurora in chat? No. I feel like I I've do. seen that username around. You, sh you should. You should. You should follow. Two okay. curves, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. following uh, Sherbert Aurora is illegal, so you you will get a visit from Interpol. Also, and, and oh, okay. Also make you, Ooh, make you I've always wanted to meet Interpol. Yeah, me too. So yeah. I can I'm join up with Canada. them maybe one day. I'm mm. just gonna do that real quick. Yeah. Oh, this yep. is the most messed up thing. This is the most messed up thing I've ever <laughs> seen. If you guys have been on my stream, I have an overlay where I'm like in a Pokedex, and it's like the whole dumb <laughs> yeah. like Pokemon card thing on my channel. And I go to Sherb's stream, and she has a better Pokedex overlay than me. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I love it. It's I okay, it. LSP. You've got a cool thing that somebody built you <laughs> to make That's it super true. cool. That's true. Mm. <laughs> Not naming any names. Mm -hmm. But Not not plugging at all. Not no plugging shameless at all. promo Dragners. here. No. Dragners. Mm -hmm. Dragners. Building cool stuff on my stream. TV. Sometimes. Pokey Flex. Yes. Nuke. Thank you for that gift itself. Oh goodness. Thank you, Nuke. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. No. It's. Uh, oh, the one other thing from the technical perspective that you sort of need. The one other thing you sort of need to do, uh, the way we do this, is a, a premium Zoom account. Because oh, yeah. Zoom has limited meeting time, mm -hmm. and the, yeah. the meeting will shut down if somebody without a, a premium account is in there. Yeah. So, if you want to do the tools the way we do them, you need, you probably don't strictly speaking need a premium Roll Twenty account, but it does a lot of oh, awesome yeah. stuff it's for you. Oh yeah, it's super helpful, mm -hmm. um, particularly if you're relying a lot on music and sound effects, like um, mm -hmm. Empire in particular, but also with this really cool TPM. I'm just going to shout out Thunder Porpoise again. Um, yeah. Soundtrack yes. that we've uploaded directly into the jukebox. You've only got 100 mega storage by default. Uh, with the pro account, you get something like 10 gig. <laughs> so that's that's yeah, super way more, helpful. Way more yeah. We should ask uh, if if chat if anybody has other other things that you want to ask uh, the players. Ask about the process. Ask about the world. Or, or anything like that, or if if Cass, if you guys have any questions for me about like what, the setting or the process or anything like that, why did you do this to me, LSP? <laughs> why did you introduce such an amazing world to us? Mm -hmm. LSP. 
And yeah. then how dare you take all of our guarantee. ideas and make them amazing? Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> and, and then not guarantee another episode. How dare you put all of us on a let, one let, shot? Let me address that. Let me address that. Um, yeah. Definitely, we won't do one next on on Saturday, six days from now. I saw somebody say that that cannot happen. Um, and probably not the Saturday after that. Definitely not. I won't be. I won't be around. Yeah, yeah me we, we would need we would need some time to prepare yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. I think all of us want to. Yes. Everybody knows that the biggest, the the most highest uh, challenge rating difficulty in fifth edition is scheduling, and so you know, we we didn't want to like. I really don't think I could handle having the timer for the next prep session start right after this one. Mm, so we couldn't plan more than one in advance for the sake of my smooth little brain. <laughs> Especially it is not your... smooth. It is yeah. lumpy as hell. It's just so, so all many, all the wavies and the bumpies. Um, yeah. It's a very uh, textured brain. Was it inspired by cyberpunk at all? Um, so the my only experience with cyberpunk is the game the game that everyone loves so much that came out that no one has any criticisms of. Um, I played it and I think it absolutely inspired me to some extent. The Fixer is a good shout. I'm confident that I subconsciously straight up stole that. Um, <laughs> and and Tremaine has, has some parallels with that character. Uh, so yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't Tremaine think it was as big actually, as some other things, but yeah. Yeah. Tremaine is super cool. Like, I kind of just threw out this idea for LSP as to, like, how Strel got roped into Daybreak City. And then LSP just, like, took it to 10. Like, I gave him, like, five. And then he was just like, all right, I'm just going to make it. You did a lot. Well, and, 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 well, so the thing about Tremaine is that they are two characters combined into one, which was why, and I'm really sad about this, I messed their pronouns up a few times um, because they were a gender fluid person and a man, uh, two different characters, and, and I made them one character. And so I, like more than once was like he, him, and I was like, oh, cause I know how much that sucks uh, for people to experience, um, but, uh yeah that is part of i think why they were complex and interesting is because you created this character and i created this character and i was like they sort of do the same thing why don't i just make them that person yeah um i love that their name is tremaine that makes me so happy <laughs> i just love that name for them yeah it worked really well and i mm -hmm. i don't know why did you I come up with that did. name yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Because my was, name I was just for them like... was, was Trey, and we came up with that independently. Yeah. Well, because, <laughs> like, originally, like, the character that I had come up with was Thaddeus Tremaine. That's the, the man that LSP is talking about. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but then, you know, we wanted them to be gender fluid. And so trey tremaine it, it just kind of like happened i guess our brains were just on similar wavelengths and it just happened it just worked out it was great it can't be inspired by cyberpunk because the session ran so well <laughs> <laughs> no one was well, t posing really in the corner <laughs> uh, if you had seen the dance floor people were just clipping uh... <laughs> Nobody, nobody's standing. genitals are clipping. We had to turn ray notice, tracing off. Uh, the upstairs crew was actually <laughs> half upstairs, half downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Tanya would like run in place and her legs would be through the ceiling and then like, and then she would just glitch forward. <laughs> that's yeah. why you rolled so bad, Stacey. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh, exactly it. Is, is that how, that was, is that how the, the um, Misty Step worked? He just sort of clipped through mm -hmm. the Yeah, exactly, the exactly. Yeah. It's just when you, if you use a game break into your advantage, mm -hmm. yeah. you, have, you have to get the right angle and then like you boost yourself past the wall. Mm -hmm. That's like... exactly how it works. <laughs> wall hacks. Wall, yeah. wall yeah. hacks. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Magic Missile is essentially an aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Daybreak oh, speed geez. run when? <laughs> any percent. Any percent. Any, any percent no glitches. <laughs> 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 oh, oh uh, Zach was asking how many characters I had to improv on the fly, and did I like any oh. of them more than the characters that I pre-made? Uh, Senna was very bare bones, and uh, I was like, I want someone to show up right now who I know the name of. Okay, yeah. And they they had they had a they had a um, a role to play in, in their interaction with with Jacob, but I thought that would probably happen off camera, and so I didn't really think about like their physical appearance much. And so I was just like, yeah, I'll just make it up. And then it was like, oh, hold on, I'm realizing now, no, they're 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 actually really important. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Which I don't know worked out. Worked out super well. Yeah. Uh, In <laughs> my Senna. mind, Senna is like super hot too. So I feel like I need to like. Yeah. Oh, has to be. I get mean, some art done there or something. You know, that was kind of like my. You know, when you when you said that like she was, you know, that, you know, the second nerd went and walked toward the the door and she walked the other way. I honestly thought you you were like forcing a separation there i thought like you expected me to go after senna and um interesting yeah i love so I, yeah that's that's not how i had perceived it at all but like it totally worked I, that's the magic of dnd though right is that like the sum of the, the whole is more than the sum of its parts when you like have different thing ideas about things Mm -hmm. Roll for mob boss hotness. <laughs> Maximum. <laughs> not 20. Not 20. Not 20 hotness. Okay, it's, it's it's not quite a d20. 16. This is 2d10, but we'll see. I rolled a 16. Oh, I've, I've got I've got um, 14 here. That's mm. really good. Low is no, good. 16. Oh, oh, this, this was a this was a two d ten edition. I didn't I, know I thought I was giving our dice here. I thought I was putting. Genuinely, I was like, Senna is going to be a social obstacle. Clearly, you guys are going to follow Jacob, and maybe you will. You, I was like, maybe if they have some good ideas about like interactions with her, they'll sort of take things in that direction. I was just sort of throwing her moving towards you out as as just a, a potential Red thing herring, yeah. with no real idea what was going to happen with that. And I was like, but you know, I've made it pretty obvious that they should follow Jacob. And then you're like, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk Hello. to the sexy, dangerous lady. <laughs> I'll have she's got some danger. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you around here, and I'm pretty sure I would have noticed. Oh my! But trust so me, you remember spicy. me. Oh. So spicy. <laughs> there, there was there was so much spice. I in felt those the like tension. Three lines. Yeah. It was beautiful. Sky, <laughs> taking notes IRL on how to flirt. <laughs> oh. I said no, to I said to my friend disaster. earlier. I said to my friend earlier. I was like, I wish I had as much game as Winona in real life, and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my god. Uh, Bonk, yeah. Yeah, don't, Sky, don't take, Sky, go don't back to your shame gutter. Dating tips from me. <laughs> I, I like frequently will go to Mrs. LSP and be like, so why when I was like talking to you, did you not block me? <laughs> in in what oh my God. moment oh boy. when That's I was like, thing, like, can I take though. you on a date? Did you decide not to say no? You <laughs> never has an answer. Well <laughs> <as a laughs> contest. You were very persistent. Hold on, on deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh me. It reminds oh, yeah. me. Does she come with the job? That line. <laughs> Oh, you, y'all yeah. saw how Wait, much that like just like throwed me off, and I was like, oh, not shit. at all. I thought you were like, maybe. Yeah. Like, you didn't seem flustered. You, at you all. took it in stride to me. 
God. I'm sure we could replay the VOD and you'll just oh, see me like yeah. crack up and be like, oh, and then like, okay, yes. I could be. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, so that was fun. That was fun. No, she was, she was definitely going to be like super flirty from the beginning. Like that was, that was always in the cards. I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. <laughs> yeah no I, I i'd love to let people know that how how little um pre-planning we did and how much of it was so so yeah yeah, yeah. we we didn't do any like scripting of what was going to happen because i did not yeah. tell you guys what the job was or nope. i was i i said i think i'm going to introduce some of you sooner than others and i yeah. said ask and i think you're going to give a lecture He's like, can I have some details of words I can throw yeah. into the lecture of that's, like that's, place and names? That's just and I so like, I didn't yeah. like stomp over all of the setting and stuff because I didn't know very much about the setting. But mm -hmm. that was just a, you know, a, a, a lecture notes just to make sure I I had something on topic to talk about. That was mm -hmm. about it. And that, yeah, and, and and other than that, you guys talked about like history your characters had with each other, but nothing about like how you were going to interact with each other based on yeah. the history. Yeah. And I was just like, man, blown away. I we I made a joke when we were in the prep session about like what if what if your session just starts with roll initiative? And then Goldie, <laughs> I was like, what if I go past initiative? What if what if your scene starts with rolling damage? Which is <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. So, it was so good. good. It was so good. All the character intros were just like fabulous. That worked out pretty good. Yeah. Like there was definitely like um I I gave <laughs> I gave snack like a way that I planned on on being like introduced, but this was so much better. This is so 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 much better. Ah oh, jeez. Yeah, like, seriously. I mean, yeah, like we said, we all kind of had like little ties here and there between each other, but we didn't know how and when we would all kind of get together and so like props to snacks for like just making it blend seamlessly mm -hmm. yeah thanks yep you can go ahead and pat yourself on the back there mister yes please do <laughs> I just want to give you guys a hug IRL. That's the little reward I want from this. It's one day. Days. I think one day. Yeah. TwitchCon. One day. TwitchCon Europe. <laughs> Over here. here. All of you. It shall happen. Ast Astacon. Hi. You may <laughs> hug me once for 10 seconds. No, I seconds. mean, I, we need to have an Astacon. Oh, Astacon. 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 Oh, Astacon. 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 oh my gosh. It's clever there. Trailer confirmed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. From Roy's perspective, yeah. Hell yeah. I I should give credit that I probably was insp inspired a lot in the character intros by the way that uh, Critical Role did their season two character intros. That was like, Ooh, yeah. have you guys seen episode one of Critical Role season two? Okay, it's there's a lot. Committing to watching Critical Role is like raising a child. It's a task. But oh it takes god, yeah. But um, <laughs> but it takes more time. <laughs> But watch episode, just do yourself a favor and even watch like the first hour of episode one when they introduce their characters. If you don't know those guys, they do like all of the voices for all of your favorite video game characters. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for Jay Britton, he does the rest of them. And yeah. And Amelia Tyler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, 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 it's, if it's in a video game within the last five to ten years, uh, Millie and it. Jay have been in it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. two are incredible. They're also amazingly yeah. entertaining humans as well. Yes. Yeah. Holy. Yeah, if you've ever seen Full Metal Alchemist, two of those characters are on Critical Role. Yeah, Laura Bailey is Lust, isn't she? Uh-huh. And yeah. her husband yeah. is that cop. Uh, Roy Mustang. Yep. And uh, uh, if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, it was this anime. I don't know if you've heard of it, but she was Just in a that small too. little Just indie anime. An indie. I've, I've seen, yeah. I've, seen yeah. well known. I've seen Dragon Ball Z abridged. Yeah. I don't think she's <laughs> in how that I watched counts. it too. Different voice actors. <laughs> <laughs> Very different experience. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh. Good lord. 
Yeah, those those character intros are are amazing. The I think one of my my favorite interactions from the first episode is the way that Molly and Jester are introduced to each other. Just like it's so smooth and like it it should be scripted how good it is. It's it's amazing. I, I love them so much. Mm -hmm. But I won't say any more because if anyone's gonna watch it, I won't spoil it. So. <laughs> After the watching Critical Role and then playing through games, suddenly recognizing so many names of the credits, yeah. And then like the guest stars they have are the rest of the people in all video games and oh, yeah. dubbed anime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also, to Dimension Twenty does some really great intros too, and I've watched. A lot I have of to watch that. I've never seen you it. You gotta to yeah. watch it. Here's the thing. I've just, I've like tried to high. watch Critical Role and I couldn't get into it, but I am a devoted Dimension 20 fan. Um, Ooh. If, yeah. if there are two people I want to grow up to be like, it's LSP and Brendan Lee Mulligan. One of those is a better choice than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I'm the best. That's a lie. <laughs> Brendan Lee Mulligan is really fantastic. He's real yeah, great at what he real does. Real good stuff. He okay. did a um, he did a the Dadland for the Adventure Zone where the McElroy brothers and their dad all got to play as characters, and it was just like a big pun on dads. It was just like it was it's just like great. they need to get the remote that starts this is giant TV, and right now the lumber dads have it. It was really weird and fun. <laughs> I just keep getting like uh, I keep getting Dimension Twenty stuff on. <laughs> TikTok. Like I just keep getting clips of like fancy. I downloaded high. TikTok and... last night and I stayed up for five hours. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I was Don't like, I can't that. actually do the song. That that's would be just, dumb. That's I've been just warned the, about this. The, the My way. phone will die and I won't know what to do. Woo it is the way. It is the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's so good. Like I, I need to go actually watch the Dimension I, Twenty shows I, now because I stumbled the clips into the are... sea shanty guy. Oh, 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 I think I, I think I know which one you mean. And yeah. the, there's a guy who, like, talks about like universal languages, having conversations with English and French. Yes. Oh yeah. Stacey, have yes. you seen that? Yes. Yes. It's yes. so, Those are so funny. Good. Yes. Yes. The pandemie. The, the pandemie. The pandemie. The pandemie. The pandemie. The one where the one where like so French was asking. English uh, between bow and bow. <laughs> it was such a Oh, good God, one. yeah. <laughs> the Critical oh, World Adventure one is 373 hours. Wow. Old. Oh, my God. Yeah, I went it's straight to campaign it's two. A lot. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I was trying to do campaign one and I. Um, I have bad hearing from when I worked in a like production ice cream factory. Um, and I had to like, yeah, and I had to like slam pints and there was just like a bunch of metal reverberating around and I didn't put in earplugs. My bad. But like the first like few episodes are like horribly recorded and I can't figure out what anybody else is saying. I cannot figure out what anybody else is saying in that one. So yeah, yeah. apparently I think it was like, 53 episodes in is when the <laughs> when the audio, when the audio issues, issues get resolved. God. Apparently, apparently, because that's when they switch from being under the umbrella of something. Geek and Sundry. Geek it's and Felicia Sundry. Day's thing. Yeah. Thank you. Would, you. you would hope that a bunch of voice actors had better audio quality. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, they yes. bought like a, a set. Like for season, like, so if, when Adventure Tavern does that, I'm gonna be pretty excited, you know? When we all meet in a studio oh around a oh custom my god. table. Oh built my god, all. don't do that to me, Snack. My, my, little, uh, my little tiny baby remember heart. Remember to like can't and take subscribe. Take Retweet the tweets on Twitter to help grow the channel oh so that we can all hang out together in Amsterdam <laughs> on a stage live in front of hundreds and play Daybreak City Nights episode nine, the final <laughs> climax of the combat that happens at prom. <laughs> Prom. prom. <laughs> You're graduated. Uh, it's prom. Monster prom. I'm not graduated, You're not graduated yet. Yeah. No. Oh my uh, god. Tony's oh. a junior. Yeah. Tony's got one more year. So are we just, all chaperoning Tanya to speed. prom? Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. Oh my god. I'm here <laughs> for it. I <laughs> think Tanya needs four chaperones in order yeah. to not burn something down. They're, they're... <laughs> if people Tanya's support this channel enough fire, that we can go fire. pro. I will run as many Daybreak City Nights episodes as you want. Yeah, so, I will too. 
Oh, I will too. Wow. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep on. We'll, I'll run a show a day. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need a break there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have we'll have a rotating cast. It'll be like we'll have a rotating cast. Oh no! <laughs> you just saying you would replace me? Yeah, that would be yeah, he just people, said he would shows. replace you're, you're, all you're of Dairy us. You're Dairy City Knights. Everybody except Goldie is invited back. Wow. <laughs> wow, you're wow. sassy. Um, the okay. nervous lad. Guys, you it's have to know people pretty well and able to have this tier of bants. Yeah, I feel, I feel. <laughs> to be the Archbishop of Banterbury like me. <laughs> the Archbishop of Banterbury. <laughs> All aboard yeah. the Banter bus. Here yeah. we go. You, you, you gotta Hong have Kong. a pretty solid relational foundation in order to display the lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> Someone was clearly on TikTok way too long because... Right? He's, he's just Wait, spinning. On TikTok for five hours. Oh. And, then, and then your phone is dead and don't know what to do. <laughs> Don't know what to do. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Can we raid somebody, maybe? Let's raid somebody. Yeah, yeah maybe I we should exactly raid somebody. I exactly we're gonna raid. I think we're too randomly. For spectacular support on Saturday, and they're amazing. Yes, I think I know amazing. exactly who you mean. Hell yeah. Um, yeah let's shenanigans do it. yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and raid Dap Dame, because she's wonderful, yeah. amazing, talented, and spectacular. Second to that. Oh. And... Oh, I want to do my raid text. Wait, oh, you do yeah. your raid text. Here's, 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 here? the, here's the, here's the basic Dee's, Dee's one. DD's raid message is always, can we grow here? I, I want to do so this. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, All right then. Um... Oh, oh, yeah. Cute. Oh, we'll do with the uh, with the bless if we've got it. Cute. Uh, yeah, how's that? I think I lost my bless recently. Oh. Get it back. You can copy that with the me tag. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that'll yeah. be our raid text. Nice, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for for uh, for, for what? I can't talk. I've done too much talking in the last two days. Thank you Reading. everybody for coming by this Reading evening. You. Thank you, yeah. uh, local snack preferences, SMC837, Taco Trash Can, Still Gold, Dragners. I'm not going to thank myself because that's, you know, thank you, incredibly Astagon. egotistical. But oh, thank you. Thank you, Astagon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, oh, thank you everyone. <laughs> they started a hype train. They get out! Y'all, we're about to raid. Get out! Of here. Get out! We're gonna, we're gonna take gonna the train with you. Give Dee a train. Yeah, hype train, okay. Dee. Save anything for for that day. Please, yeah. Yeah. please. 